Good morning everyone, Dashing Dink coming at you with another day of DoorDash. I lost an entire day's worth of footage because I was an idiot and I accidentally erased all of it. I tried to recover it um, in my trash bin on the computer, I tried to recover it from the cloud. I could get my screenshots, but all the videos are gone. So, but we're gonna go out here, we're gonna do this, and hopefully we have a good day. All right, everyone, good morning. We just got an order from McDonald's for $7.98 to go 10 miles, but um, let's head on over to McDonald's on the south end of town, and we'll grab this order. Alright, thank you so much. Enjoy your order. Have a wonderful day. Alright everyone. <laughs> I had a little bit of a break in the action because I had to go to the bathroom. I went to the gas station and locked my keys in my car. But luckily, I was across the road from a repair shop. And a nice gentleman came over and popped a wedge in my door, threw his little rod in, and got my door open in about 20 seconds. So, I had to run over there, and I gave the guy 20 bucks, and we're back on the road. And we just got an order from Target. Uh, I should say an offer, but we took it, so now it's an order. But it's for $2.55, and we're picking up one item. So... We're gonna grab the red card once we get to Target and we'll go get this item. Excuse me. Looking for that bad boy. So that one, I just put a zero in the system. Okay, so you don't have any? I just have the wireless one, unfortunately. Okay. Item unavailable. Okay. All right, how about either one of these substitutions? Let's go take a look. All right. Ah, over here. Was this one of them? Razor Ballistic 3. Okay. Try that. I think it's this one. Scan successful. Okay. All right. Did you say you get that back here? Yeah, I think that'll work. Proceed to check out. Okay, so we just spent 25 minutes delivering to, I think, someone who's just a ghost. It's a $75 computer mouse. <clears throat> the payment went through at Target. This person gave me directions to go to Birch Hall on the BSU college campus. I went there, I text them two or three times I tried calling them it goes to some weird voicemail that is the advertisement of a business so I don't get that and it, you know it says to go to Birch Hall 367 B well I can't get into the building because it's a locked secured dormitory so I had to call Dasher support um, and the reason I did is because I know I could have went through the whole Customer unavailable, can't hand order to customer, take a picture, wait the five minutes and all that kind of stuff. 
but it's a $75 item. I don't want to just leave a $75 item in an entryway. So I called Dasher Support. She tried to get a hold of them. She got back to me and said, same thing. Yeah, I tried calling. It goes to some business advertisement, whatever. And she said, so I'm going to mark uh, on my end that the customer is unavailable. Just go ahead and confirm delivery. She asked me exactly where I was. I told her or explained it to her. And she said, don't worry, this you won't get any negative feedback. So hopefully somebody doesn't take it. I hope this person is a real person and gets their mouse. <laughs> it was $2.55. So on my end of it, I could care less <laughs> because it, it did not <laughs> affect me one way or the other, other than my acceptance uh, rate. So <sighs> whatever. And one other thing, I might as well use this as a teaching moment <laughs> if you are new to DoorDash um, and you haven't had much experience or time in it make sure when you are in doubt call support even if it takes you a little bit of time because they will have a record of the phone call and the conversation and if you go somewhere like in a situation like this and it says hand it to me you can't hand it to them and you go through the whole thing of waiting five minutes taking a photo and leaving a description and that person happens to leave you say negative feedback or a one-star rating or they say they didn't get their item and DoorDash gives you a contract violation if you contact DoorDash support you have a verbal record of the phone call, the conversation with DoorDash support and all that stuff. So when in doubt, just make sure that you call DoorDash support. It's gonna save you in the long run. It's gonna save you from bad numbers. It's gonna save you from contract violations um, because you can always contact DoorDash and say, hey, I talked to DoorDash support about this order. They informed me to go ahead and complete it and you know, I should not be getting a contract violation for this. They said that everything was going to be fine. And then they'll go back, they'll review it, and they'll take it off. So, All right, everyone. While I was talking to you in that last segment, I was on my way to the mall parking lot, our favorite place to park. And I just pulled in, finished my segment, shut the camera off, and we got an order. It's a high pay offer from Burger King four and a half dollars to go one mile so we're gonna head on down here to Burger King grab that order and go deliver it All right, there we are. for Terry thank you, thank you. Terry? Captain. Oh, that's my mother. Yeah. Yeah. Incoming message. All right, sounds good. There's that. And two orange juice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, have a good one. Enjoy. All right, we got another order. It is $4 um, from McDonald's on the south end. I, I didn't even look at the mileage. <laughs> so we'll run over to McDonald's. We'll grab the order and we'll get it delivered. Yep, 073. Thank you. All right, so we got our McDonald's. Um, we're gonna take it over here to the customer. It's one sandwich, took a little while. And I don't know if you saw, but I got 
an offer from Instacart. It was for $23, I think, and some change, something like that. But it was shopping for three different individuals. Um, I don't do, I don't shop for three. I'll, I'll do two or one, but I just don't do threes because it's just too damn confusing. Um, but I had shut the camera off in there for a little while because I had such a long wait time and I didn't want my camera rolling and rolling and rolling. It happened again. <laughs> my phone alert went off and it said, we tried to send you an order from DoorDash. Uh, so it tried to send me a stack of some kind and I did not get an alert again. So that's two now. Um, I mean, I might as well just let you know at this point in the video that I have reached 98%. I do have a screenshot of that. And I just, um, but now the first time it happened, we still have about 45 or 50 orders that we have to do to get to that one. And now it just happened again. So we're gonna have to do another 100 orders. So I am currently at 98%. These are DoorDash app issues that have caused it not to be 100, so I'm calling it a challenge. <laughs> Some of you may disagree with me, and that's okay. You're more than welcome to disagree, but I'm calling it a challenge, completed. I think that I have worked pretty darn hard to get to this point. It's been a struggle, especially during this time of year. So we're gonna continue today um, I'll take orders and stuff, but we're at a point now where I'm just going to start door dashing <laughs> and taking good orders. But um, I apologize. The actual app is not going to say 100%, but I'm going to say that we've done it. So let's get this order over to the consumer. All right, thank you so much for your order. Enjoy your McDonald's and have a wonderful day. All right, we got that one dropped off and just as quickly as we got back in the car, we got another order, offer. Uh, again, it's from McDonald's on the south end, so I'm probably gonna have to wait, but. <laughs> uh, it's for $6.50 and it was going like 3.3 miles, so not a bad one. Um. There's money to be made with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, declining orders, just so everyone knows. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ah, this for you. Yes, <laughs> All right, man. There you go, John. Thank you. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, you too. All right, guys, we dropped off the McDonald's to the nice young gentleman came out in the hallway, so I. I can't complain about that. Some of those <clears throat> apartments are so confusing because they have an upper level and a lower level. And... But anyway, he met me in the hallway. You guys saw that. And we just received an offer that, guess what? I declined it. <laughs> it was for like $3.27 to go eight miles. We're done with that. I'm calling it a challenge. It was from Duncan, which I'm passing right now. It is slow today. I could have taken it just to stay busy, but we're done. We're done with the low, low ball offers and the upside down offers. So uh, you'll guys, you guys will see the screenshot. Three dollars and twenty seven cents to go eight miles. So I let that one go. All right, everyone. We just drove across town and finally got our next offer. 
it is five dollars even to go 2.3 miles so it's slightly over two bucks a mile we're gonna take it i accepted it here we go from starbucks excuse me hello stephanie yeah no problem all right thank you All right, we just got a stack on this for four extra dollars to go 0.4 miles extra. So I'm gonna run back in and grab that very quickly. Got another one. Amy. Food item was left out of Stephanie's. So oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Order for Amy? Thank you. All right. Have a wonderful day Thank now. You. Stephanie? Yes. Yes, please. All right. Oh, Enjoy. Have, Have a good day. Hit. All right, everyone. We dropped off both of our Starbucks orders. One to Amy, one to Stephanie. And immediately when I got back out to the car from dropping off Stephanie's order, we received a $3.24 offer from Target to go 3.3 miles. So it's pretty much a buck a mile but it was for 19 items. I'm not gonna shop 19 items for three bucks. So I declined that one and we're just waiting for the next offer to come through. All right guys, we just got another offer. It's not great, but the money to miles is good. It's only $3.50, but it's going 0.8 miles from Starbucks. So we're gonna head right over here, just a couple blocks to Starbucks. We'll grab this order and we'll go to the point probably seven miles that it is. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep, you too. Excuse me. All right, everyone. It took a while. We got our uh, Starbucks for $3.50. And we are headed over to the mall parking lot. Only we're not gonna park, even though it is our favorite place to park. We're actually delivering to the mall. So you guys will get to see our pathetic little mall here in Bemidji, Minnesota. I have an order for Megan. Right here. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, you have a great day. Thank you. All right, guys, we got the um, Starbucks order dropped off for Megan at the mall. And as I was leaving the mall to get back out onto the main road, we got an order from Mi Rancho Mexican Restaurant. It is for $5.50 and I think it was going like 2.3 miles. So again, two bucks a mile, 
a little bit better than that. So let's go to Mi Rancho. We'll pick up some Mexican. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's, it's closed. Yeah, that's what I thought. But yeah, I don't know why it came through at 10 o'clock because I know you guys don't open until 11. So. Yeah, sorry. Okay. I'll let him know. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, so when we pulled up, I did say, I think they're closed. They don't open until 11 o'clock. And we were still, the doors were open. We went inside, but obviously he said, oh, I'm sorry, we're closed, you know? And so I went back outside. I took a picture of the door because it obviously has the hours on it. Um, and it was 1019, so there's no way we're getting it but we got half paid two dollars and 75 cents we had to drive over there but it wasn't that far so all right i was on my way south out of town and we did pick up an offer from mcdonald's it's five dollars to go 2.3 miles from the south mcdonald's we're just about ready to pull in so let's go get this order and we'll get it delivered What? My husband watches you all the time. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> well, tell him I said hi. <laughs> well, wave. You, I'll put you in the video so you can say hi to your husband. Hi, John. <laughs> well, that's cool. Tell him thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, is he? I'll go say hi. <laughs> okay. How's it going? She told me you watch my channel. Oh yeah, please, please subscribe. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. I, I told her to wave and say hi to you, and she'd be in the video. So oh, really? I'll throw you in there too. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Yeah. You guys have a good day. <laughs> he thought that was pretty neat. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys okay, later. Nice yeah, you. have a great day. All right, everyone, we got the order picked up from McDonald's and we're gonna go deliver that now. But I met uh, another dasher in there. Her name is Bev. And she told me, oh my goodness, my husband John and I watch you on YouTube. And, um, I thought that was pretty cool and she said her husband John was out in the car so I went out and met John said hi met Bev nice couple and uh, I told them I said well say hi to the camera I'll put you in my video and they were okay with that so uh, John was tickled pink all right guys we're gonna go get this delivered and we're gonna make our way back south again All right, Andrew, I appreciate your business. Enjoy your McDonald's and have a wonderful day. Well, everyone, I just got the call. I got to go help uh, my wife with a couple of things. I appreciate you guys taking along. Um, I want to thank everyone for subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting. Um, you guys have been amazing. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. If you go out dashing, be safe. 
And once again, this is Dashing Dink saying until the next dash.